Unlike other talk shows, Nightstand always tries to bring you insightful, hard-hitting topics. Like last week's, whoops, I think I like my cousin. <laughs> but tonight it's aloha, important stuff, hello, pure entertainment. Look out, kids, Arctic Heat is coming at you. <laughs> I look at you three gals and I say, if I had a daughter and that daughter was anything like you, I'd be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, Latte, Cherokee, and Coquette. Now, just in case somebody just woke up from a coma, uh, what's Arctic Heat all about? Well, well you know, you know, we know when I three fashion models whose plane crashed in the Antarctica, and after surviving for months on our wits alone, we finally rescued ourselves. And then instead of going back to Miami Beach where we were fashion models, we decided to stay in Antarctica. Where we work as models. And as a rescue squad. Ooh, I love that premise. <laughs> Chicks on ice, make mine a triple. <laughs> now this is really exciting for all of you, but, a but spe especially oh, oh, me, well, Dick. I I was just um, nominated for Best Actress in a Series at this year's Channel's Above 13 Awards. Oh, how about that? Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Winning would, be, winning would be a huge, huge honor. Well, you deserve something huge. Oh, oh people, no, no, people. But I, I owe so much to my uh, <clears throat> supporting cast and my crew in the Philippines where we shoot the show, but as Especially Gary Marshall, who has been a tremendous, tremendous help to me. Right, right. Gary Marshall, the well-known director, writer, Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, Pretty Woman. Penny Marshall's brother? <laughs> now, uh, 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 Coquette, how did Gary help you? Uh, why? Because he's known for giving young entertainers their first break? That, and because he's my cousin. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, Latte, let's talk to you. Uh, I want to be politically correct here. You are a Negro American, is that right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yet on the show, you play a Negro Alaskan. Um, was that a difficult adjustment? Oh, yes, it was, Dick. I mean, I wanted to base my character on real black Alaskans, but... Well, there are no black people in Alaska. <laughs> That's right. I've heard of baked Alaskans, but never black Alaskans. <laughs> Dick, you are so funny. My people would say, Marshalu Pakaway, which means I love your syndicated TV show. Well, thank you very much. We do very well with squaws, 18 to 34. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk about the Arctic Heat team. And, and Latte, you are the computer specialist on the team. Yes, I play the computer specialist. And Miller, we've got a clip of that, don't we? Okay, let's roll that clip. Latte, if you don't crack that code, the virus found in the ice could spread around the world killing God only knows how many people. But the entire data bank is written in Macintosh. I'll have to transfer it to DOS. Oh, that could take many moons. Warm here. Oh, these spirits bad, directing evil to us. Wait a second. What did you say? Directing evil to us? Why? Directing. Directory. If I can locate the directory for dose, then maybe I can access the code. <laughs> I think I just got an idea. Coquette, 
Chet, I see the quality of that tape. I got to ask you, how do you do it week after week after week? Well, well it's I like cousin Gary always told me, it's story, story, song, bikini. <laughs> well, I think Gary and I went to the same school. <laughs> so we're going to be back with more of that philosophy as our salute to Arctic heat keeps coming, coming at you. Are you at least 50 pounds overweight and enjoy wearing spandex? Give us a call at 555 from last Friday on Nightstand. Dick blows the top off strippers. What's that like night after night taking your clothes off for white trash and Japanese businessmen? Find out on Nightstand. We're talking to the cast of Arctic Heat. Uh, yeah, yeah, here's a question. Yes. Um, this is for any of the wonderful actresses on the panel. That would be the cast. I'm a big fan. <laughs> um, I was thinking about having a breast augmentation, and I was wondering, did any of you girls have any problem with your sailing bags? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> Coming at ya! <laughs> Good question, good question. Now, things are going well for all of you, right? Oh, it's yeah, unbelievable, I, Dick. The show I, is doing so well. We have our own calendar, and there's even talk of an Arctic Heat direct-to-foreign video movie. Things, things are going well for me, too, Dick. Yes, yes. Uh, Cherokee Forerunner, the native Indian gal on the show. You know, Cherokee, I watch you week after week. I just want to ask you, how? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive, forgive me. One of the pages bet me five dollars I wouldn't say that. <laughs> How are things going for you? Well, Dick, I'm proud to say I've just been signed to star in an infomercial for the new life-changing health drink called Inca Drinka. Inca? Inca Drinka sounds good. Inca Drinka is a beverage derived from the ancient ruins of Metzaluna. Mmm. So what does uh, Inca Drinka do? Dick. <laughs> Follow any meal with a glass of Inca Drinka, and it turns everything you eat into a soft liquid. Your body is cleansed quickly and naturally. Sounds terrific. Kind of like a frozen yogurt machine. I have an infomercial too, Dick. So you have an infomercial too? Yes. But uh, lots of you have a singing career too, don't you? Oh, yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I'm doing a new album called Latte, live from Starbucks. Ooh. <laughs> Terrific. That would be a follow-up to your latte, unplugged and decaffeinated. Exactly. Yeah. I have a new record, too, Dick. You have a new record, too? Yes. Um, I'm not the singer that latte is, of course. I'm an actress first, a model, dancer, author, singer second. Um, but I do have a new recording. It's a German version to the love theme of Arctic Heat. The German version of the love theme from Arctic Heat. Could you do it for us as you take us into commercial? Well, I, I haven't had a chance to rehearse it. How about it, Clark? Others. So who's going to drive the submarine? I am. My father drove one of these during the war. There wasn't a night that went by that I didn't hear stories about these things. The only difference is this baby's nuclear powered. And one little fact with that, but the girl never drove one. <laughs> oh, it's getting hot in here. Oh. Are you going to be okay? No, I think so. Latte, find out if there's some food in this place. And Cherokee? Yeah? Give me a back rub. Okay. Let's get this work done. I'll tell you something. After I saw that episode, I swear I'm never going to ride in a submarine again. 
And it just points out how each week the show is written good. Uh, well, yeah, it, it just goes to show that my being so close to my cousin Gary Marshall has proved a tremendous help to me. It, it really has. Well, then you're going to love this. You know why? Cousin Gary is backstage right now. He is. Yes, he is. Here, why? Well, we told him he could come on here to plug his book, which is about something. I don't know. But uh, he's backstage, and we're going to get him. Right back here, follow me to our soundproof booth, where Gary Marshall should be. Gary! Hi, it's a little quiet in here. I thought I was deaf. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Dick, 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 Dick Dietrich. Welcome Dick. to the show. Yeah. Hey, Gary, can we stop one second? I wanted to ask you, about 15 years ago, I sent you a sample script for Laverne and Shirley. Oh, yeah, yeah, we used to get a lot of things. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you remember or not. In this one, uh, the girls were locked in the brewery, and they got drunk, and then in Act 2, they started kissing each other. <laughs> that one I remember. You remember that. Interesting, but uh, not not quite our yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got the same reaction when I pitched it to Kate and Allie and Jake and the Fat Man. Jake, Jake wouldn't kiss the Fat Man. No. Go figure. Well, I thank you for having oh, me here, Jake. Are we going to talk like one on one? Well, We're gonna talk ladies and gentlemen, Gary Marshall. surprise, Gary. You see, we're doing a tribute to Arctic Heat. Now, has it been a while since you've seen Coquette? Yes, since before the restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you're a stitches. Get on up there, okay? Uh, well, <laughs> hi. Hi, Gary. Hi. hi. I did recognize you. You, you got augmented. <laughs> a little bit. Uh -huh. So, Gary, here we are. It's you, me, the girls. You've helped so much. Uh, isn't this exciting? Yes, it's very exciting. In fact, I'd like to ask Mr. Marshall, how come Paul Lynn was always in the center square? Ooh, good question. No, no, no that, that's not me. That was Peter Marshall who did the Hollywood Squares. You know, his real name is Peter Lecoq. My real, it's all in my book. Dave. And you know what? And that book is going to be filled with so many antidotes. But uh, let's, write, let's talk about Arctic Heat. How did you get involved with Arctic Heat? Well, I'm not... I'm, uh, I'm not really involved with it. We, we met, she came by Thanksgiving, and we talked, and uh, Penny wouldn't have anything to do with it. Penny breaks out in hives when Coquette comes too close. Uh, but uh, she told me about it, and, you know, I want to be helpful, so I just introduced it to a couple of producers. That, right, that's all, all, that's all I did. Do you speak English? <laughs> the one who told Coquette about Story Story Thong Bikini? No, I didn't say that. Oh yeah, here's a comment right here. Yes, as a woman, I feel this show is a perfect example of the media scraping the bottom of the barrel for its material. And I'm surprised at Mr. Marshall's involvement. Sweetheart, I'm not involved. Gary, 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 let me handle, let me handle this. Miller, get rid of her. <laughs> She's all aggro. She thinks I do this kind of stuff. I do happy days. The, the sexiest we ever got was Chachi gave Joni a hickey. Did you see that one? Remember, it was a little bite Gary, right Gary, here, like that, and it was over. Gary, you did pick the title. You came up with Arctic Heat? Not exactly. Uh, she was talking about anti-Arctic Heat, and it's uh, anti-Arctic sound like Auntie B on the Mayberry with Snow. It was all mixed up, uh -huh. so she couldn't pronounce it, and... You know, I've been in the business a long time. You shouldn't do shows you can't pronounce. No, that's a... Hey, that's a tip for all you aspiring writer-producer types out there. Yeah, here's a question way over here. Yeah, get back to the chicks. This guy blows. Okay. <laughs> Not exactly a question, no, but... No, uh... but at least he didn't think I was Peter Lacoff. <laughs> well, I'm doing a book here, so Yeah, we, I'm here We have Gary, we'll, trust me, we're, we do want to hear about the book. But uh, what are you working on these days? The, the book. The <laughs> way, way, way. The no, book. we know about the book. We want to hear about movies and films. What are you doing there? Well, I, I, I am doing a new film, and uh, we're, we're right in the middle of casting it. Casting right? oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> that, that touching me did. Yeah, Somebody's well, touching lucky me. Lucky you, Gary. Hey, Gary, I just got a thought. Wouldn't it be wonderful if one of these three sassy lassies could be in your movie? <laughs> 
No, you, 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 you can't scream. You can't scream in that octave. Dogs come through the studio. Derek, Derek, Derek you could audition quiet. them right here. Audience, what do you oh, say? Yeah, 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 very good. We, um, touching my head. We, we don't have any script. Oh, no, I know. Uh, no, you're wrong there. I've got a sample script from Arthur Keat that I've written. We could use that as the audition piece. How about it, folks? I, 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 Gary, I'll let you plug the book. If I could do the book, okay, we'll have an All audition. All right. Okay. Yeah. We'll have an audition. Okay. Okay, when we come back, we're going to find out if one of these three ladies will be his next pretty woman. And we're going to hear about Gary's book if there's time. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hot in here. <sighs> He's always a rich. Okay, we're back with our conclusion and our salute to Arctic Heat. And with us is the well known writer director Gary Marshall, who's going to. <laughs> who's going to audition the girls from the show for his new movie, right here on our stage. <laughs> Forgive me, Gary. That was my Ed Sullivan impression. You're forgiven. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, I think we're about ready uh, to start. Girls, Latte, Coquette, Cherokee, you're ready? Yes, Yo, Forgive me, Gary. I, I'm sorry. My manners. Uh, do you want to direct this? No, 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 no. You direct. You direct. I'll, I'll go over here. It's always good during an audition to go a little further away for a perspective. You know, behind something is good. Uh -huh. I like behind something. Okay, well, good thinking. Okay, here we go. Lights. Camera. Sound. Don't close that door. Now you've done a Cherokee. You've locked us in this Milwaukee brewery. I didn't lock us in here. It was that stupid Lenny and Squiggy. Okay, cut, 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 cut. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's supposed to say Larry and Stevie. Um, my computer's supposed to do that for me. Forgive me. <laughs> so many details. I think. That's your Laverne and Shirley script. You, <laughs> you caught me. Yes, you caught me. Caught you. <laughs> All right, places, everybody. Logger World, take two. And sound. Don't close that door. Now you've done it, Cherokee. You've locked us in this Milwaukee brewery. I didn't lock us in here. It was that stupid... Larry and Stevie, we've got to do something to stop that really important diplomat from drinking the poisonous beer that was shipped from here. If we don't get out of this brewery to warn them, this could be the start of World War III. It's getting warm in here. It's no use. We'll never get out of here alive. We are going to get out of here. That's right. We are, Cherokee. <laughs> Just as long as we don't run out of food first. So I want you girls to know that if I die first, you can both eat me. Hey, that's, hey, that's my line. Yeah, I think she's right. That is her line. Lotte yeah. would never say that. Coquette would be the one that would sacrifice herself for the others. You know I'm what? Sorry. You keep stealing everyone else's lines. Oh, shut yeah. up. Pocahontas. Pocahontas? You know what? You Marshall, the audience here. You didn't even get to the lesbian scene. Dick, Dick, that last part was pretty good acting. Well, no, 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 Gary, we, that wasn't it. Let's take it again from the top, okay? No, 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 please don't, don't go back. I, I got the gist of it. You I got, got the gist of it? I got well, the gist of it. Uh, what's your decision? My decision? Well, uh, no, no, don't, don't hit yourself there. Something may explode there. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Come on, Gary, we're on pins and needles. What's your decision? Uh, well, uh, my decision. Well, you know, thinking about your writing, mm -hmm. uh, where do we go from here? Right. Maybe my car. <laughs> okay. If you're leaving, how do we get in touch with you? Well, I'm retiring now. 